Hello there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can be a six-figure coach even if you have no certification or no degree that qualifies you to be a coach. Now, I've been coaching since 2015. I've been working with companies, organizations, small and large enterprises, helping them be able to be better performers, generate more revenue, get more profit, so on and so forth. And in the course of the last five years, I've been able to generate at least half a million dollars in personal income just through coaching. Now, this does not include my education and training platforms, my own other companies. So this is purely coaching revenue. I wanna show you exactly what it takes, what are some of the hurdles that you may experience as you are going through your journey of creating personal income for yourself and where certification is required and where certification may not be required. In this video, we will also take a deep dive in understanding the purpose of a certification. Now I'm gonna show you how to create this income for yourself in six simple steps in the next few minutes. I want you to listen to what I have to say very carefully and write down below in the comment section when you have a breakthrough moment. One thing we have realized through our learning platforms is one of the ways you can really learn something is by engaging in it. Writing a breakthrough moment or sharing something that may have caused an insight for you allows you to engage with this piece of information that you're about to receive. So go ahead, write in the comment section below anytime you feel a particular breakthrough has happened for you. Now let's start with the first step. The first step is to understand what is the purpose of a certification? You see, often new coaches, even credible experienced coaches, get confused between the idea of do you need certification for business purposes or certification to realize your self-worth. Now, it may seem obvious when you're getting started that you should get certified, but if you understand the reason of certification, you may be able to better understand if it is right for you or not. Now, in no way am I saying certifications are bad. Certifications are great and they serve a purpose. You just need to understand what's the purpose of them. Say for example, idea of coaching is exciting to you. A few conversations that seem like a coaching conversation seem really powerful to you. You may have hired a coach yourself and may have found their work so purposeful that you wanna find a way to engage with it. While all of that is very exciting, the moment you start coaching, the moment you start trying to figure out how to build this business and be able to create an income for yourself part-time or full-time, you may find yourself really lost. The reason you may be lost is because you may think, well, I want to help people in a particular dimension, but how do I help them? You may have some ideas and some experiences, but you may find yourself often confused in how really to take those ideas and bring it to somebody else's life. Well, a certification helps you do that. When you go out in the world trying to coach individuals and you find yourself a little bit lost, a little bit confused, a little bit unsure, you may wanna consider taking a certification. A certification gives you a proven path by someone else that has tried and tested those strategies, techniques, and methodology, and they are willing to transfer all that insight and information to you in a set period of time. When somebody is willing to do that, they give you the complete playbook that they have utilized in the past and have case studies that prove that that actually works. It does two things for you. Firstly, it gives you a valid way of coaching somebody, which is great for you to take to any business or a person to say, you're certified in that methodology. The second thing is as a new coach, you often doubt yourself. You doubt your capabilities. You doubt your confidence in being able to reach out to a client and be able to help them. This is where certifications are very useful. You see, when you're certified in a particular methodology, you are borrowing the confidence of the person that is certifying you. You're borrowing confidence from somebody else's methodology. And with this borrowed confidence, you can go out in the world and be able to take more action towards creating change and of course, creating your business in the process. Now, does that make having a certification absolutely necessary? No. If you know the direction you want to progress and if you have the experience in that direction, if you've studied through many of our quests or other programs that you may have taken, you may have enough confidence, you may even know your methodology, and so you can go out in the world and start coaching straight away. When I started my journey, I didn't start with the certification, I started by simply reaching out and helping people through their journey. I discovered my own methodology by doing the work. That's what you wanna think about. When you're thinking between certification or no certification, look within yourself. Do you have the confidence? 
Do you feel that you can go out in the world and start working with other people? Do you feel that as you're working with people, they are seeing the results? At the end, what really matters is do your clients get results? If your clients get results, you may already have a pretty solid methodology and getting a certification may be a nice to have, but it's not a must have. Now, when you go out in the world and do consider taking a certification, I invite you to look at a certification that is more holistic. Not just the ones that help you with basic methodology, but a certification that also gives you the right kind of marketing insight, the right kind of business building insight, because getting your certification is only one part of the entire puzzle of a coaching business. And even if you consider not getting a certification, which is absolutely okay, do consider getting business trainings and education so you can set up yourself for success. And that's the first step. Understand if you even want a certification, or you don't. Either of the paths, get a certification or not get a certification, are both right for your coaching journey. It's more a personal decision that you need to make based on your level of confidence and your level of self-belief in you being able to create results for your clients. And of course, it is also depending on once you start coaching, are your clients getting results? If they're not, you may wanna consider getting a certification. It's not an absolute requirement. Now that's step one, where you decide if you wanna be certified or not be certified. Let's get to step two. Step two is understanding your clients. Most of the coaches, most of the newer coaches especially, start their journey all excited, thinking that they need to get a particular outcome to their clients. And what happens because of that is a lot of us focus too much in telling our story of becoming a coach or telling the methodology that we use to get to an outcome. Clients don't care about your methodology. They don't care how you got to the point that you got to the point. What they really care about is can you get them the result that they really seek? While we are all beautiful human beings, we do act from a little bit of a selfish place often in our lives. That's exactly where your clients are at. They're a little selfish about their growth, about their results. And so when you're speaking to a client, consider speaking to their needs in the now not to the potential outcome they can get to, but the needs that they have right now. Let me give you an example. One of my first few clients was this amazing woman who had this beautiful company. And while I walked into the organization, I was operating from the belief that they must want to generate more revenue. And while that may have been true, what was really happening in that organization was a lot more of a team challenge. The entrepreneur herself was exhausted and often concerned with how the team and the business was operating. Her fear on growing revenue came from a place where she wondered, would that mean only working harder? If I wouldn't take the time to understand her place fully, her situation fully, I would have just simply started asking questions that would have led her to believe that she needs to overwhelm herself even more to create more revenues. While creating revenues is a potential outcome and my excitement while I'm working with companies, often I find that if I really sit down and understand my client, I will find that their real need is actually significantly different. If I really take the time to understand their needs, I can help them get the outcomes they want. More than my desires and my stories, what is important in a conversation with a client is to understand where they are at and where they are going. When you approach a client, take the time to understand where they are. If it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, it's rather simple. Ask them more questions around what is it that is really happening for them? What is the experience of life they're having? If there's a particular area you focus in coaching, ask them questions related to that area in their life and they will eventually reveal what's really happening for them. Then help them build a vision to a solution that they truly want but start with understanding where they're at. That is for step two, understand your clients. Step three is understand your market. You need to take the time to understand what's happening around you. While I'm somebody who always advocates not to get bought into the idea of society and social contagion that is around us at all times, it is important to be able to understand what's happening and what other individuals are doing in the marketplace for you to be able to distinguish yourself and stand out in a rather busy and crowded marketplace. While we are all unique individuals, often because of the amount of noise that is happening around us, our clients find it much difficult to distinguish between us 
and the coach next door. Because of that, you wanna understand your market. You wanna understand what's happening in the entire marketplace so you can create a distinctive voice for yourself. This also helps you understand how to talk to your marketplace, how to create content and conversations that will allow for that market to really respond. Some of the markets are very mature, like if you are in health and wellness industry, the market already knows a lot about diets and nutrition. While if you're in a newer market like business coaching or even a lot around personal growth or dimensions of personal growth, you may find that you can get away with introducing the ideas that may not have been heard enough. That brings me to create packages. Very often, we start coaching and all we approach our clients with is one-on-one -on -one interactions. We often price ourselves by the hour and that may be one of the reasons why you may find yourself struggling to enroll and engage your client. Think about your coaching in packages. This allows you to firstly drive a real result with your clients because you're not trading time for money, but you're trading time for results. If you are in a three month or a six month coaching package, you can promise a bigger result to your clients and actually help them get it. If you're coaching only for an hour, most likely that hour may be fruitful, may not be fruitful, may be enough, may not be enough, which means there's a lesser likelihood that that client is gonna re-engage in a conversation and a dialogue with you. Think about your services in context of packages. When you offer a three month or a six month package, you have a greater capability of pricing yourself at a reasonable price that justifies your time and also helps your clients get the results that they want. Now below this video, you will find a special link that takes you to our unique membership program called Coaching Mastery. Inside Coaching Mastery, you will get tons of trainings and tools that will help you design your packages very, very effectively and fairly quickly. It's available for you to try for absolutely free below this video. Another tool that is available inside Coaching Mastery for you which is also the fifth step, which is to build your brand. One of the key things we've learned over time, especially in coaching, training, personality driven businesses, is it is a lot about the brand and the voice of the brand on how people see you, how people see your message, how people see the impact that you're trying to create. Very often, we are so tied up in the day-to-day -day that we forget that when you're doing a business, when you're starting a business, when you're growing a business, you're not doing it for a matter of weeks or months. You may be doing this for a lifetime. That if you make efforts, conscious efforts today to understand yourself and represent your brand right, over time, all of the work that you would do would compound on top of each other. You know, when a new brand starts, very few people know about it. But if the brand keeps working on themselves, soon enough, you know them for that particular thing. Think about any of the famous coaches that you may know. Think about how you know me. There's a particular association that you have and that has happened because of a consistent dialogue I've had for years at this point. You wanna ask yourself, how can you keep that consistent dialogue and keep compounding on it? It's not only easy for your clients to remember, understand you, know when to come to you for a particular type of service, it's actually easier for you. As a coach, as a trainer, you now can always fall back on some of the key messages that you always talk about, that you always train on, on what you always coach on. So ask yourself the fundamental question of who you are, what your brand is, and how it needs to show up in the world. Invest some time every week in continuously building your personal brand through content and conversations that you can deploy through the power of social media. And remember, your personal brand is not limited to who you are today. As you will expand, your brand will as well. Your message will as well. Don't overthink to figure out the perfect message of the perfect brand. That may cripple you. Think about a brand that is good enough for you to get started because you know in time that you will expand on it. More on that is inside Coaching Mastery. Let's come to the final and probably the most important step. That is to get results and think about results. There is no coaching business that can be successful if it doesn't drive the results it promises to drive. It may not sound like a really evolved or complex business strategy, but it's probably one of the biggest reasons a coach gets successful or becomes successful is because they're able to drive results with their clients. The more you focus on saying, how do I get my clients to win? What is it that I can do for my clients to win? The easier it will be for you to continue to grow your practice. It'll be significantly easier for you to get to six figures, even seven figures. 
Clients want to pay you for the results that you drive for them. The bigger the quality of results that you drive, the bigger the impact it makes on your client's life, the more they are willing to pay. Which means if you want to make $50,000, find a market that is willing to pay $50,000 and then make an impact that is worth $50,000. And you will make $50,000. If you want to make $100,000, do the same. Find a market that is willing to pay $100,000 and then make an impact that's worth $100,000. In essence, the results or the quality of your results to the quality of market that you serve is going to define the amount of income that you can make. Getting to six figures as a certified or non-certified coach is simple. It's a step-by-step -step playbook that anyone can follow. The reason why it doesn't work for everyone is because most of us forget to focus on our clients. We forget that it is the results of our clients that really will define our income. We forget that if we don't work on ourselves consistently, if we don't upgrade our confidence, if we don't upgrade our skills consistently, we won't be able to drive the results with our clients. And hence, it'll be harder for us to get to that six figure income, even a seven figure income. My invitation to you is to constantly work on yourself, constantly work on your methodology, constantly work on ways to create results with your clients. The more you work on that, the better the results you'll get for your clients and easier and simpler it will be for you to create the income, the freedom, and the impact that you desire. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. That way, I can notify you next time I've created a video that may answer some of your burning questions, that may answer some of your concerns. Share this video with someone that you think can utilize this information to create an amazing practice. Thank you for doing what you do. I'll see you soon.